Hey guys, it's Max. Today I will be testing out how this nearly $15,000 Mac Pro does in gaming, both in Mac OS and in Windows using Boot Camp. I will also be doing a couple benchmarks just to see where this Vega 2 graphics card with 32 gigabytes of HBM2 memory falls in line compared to other graphics cards, and also seeing how loud does the system get because it is literally just inches away from my ear sitting on the desk here. So let's jump right into it. Right now we are in Mac OS and I have Fortnite installed as the first game I'm going to test and we'll see how it performs Mac OS and then we'll flip over to Windows. So Fortnite chose some default settings for us. We have full screen 1440p, 3D resolution is only at 75% and everything's set to high settings not ultra. Oh that was close. No 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 no! <laughs> I thought I was safe there. So we're gonna max everything out that we can. We really need to find a gun here. And as you guys can tell, I'm not really that skilled of a Fortnite player, but we are playing at above 100 frames per second. I think we have to jump up to 4K. So it won't let me set to 4K. I have to go higher than 4K here, uh, but that is fine. Yeah, we got a sniper rifle. As you guys might be able to see, we're playing at right about 60 FPS, 55 to 65. This is playing at about 4.5K, higher than 4K with all the options maxed out that it allowed me to max out here in Mac OS. Uh-oh, glitch? No, <laughs> please, there's a guy here, don't do this to me. I'm not sure why that crashed, maybe it was just the Wi-Fi or internet cutout, but of course Fortnite does not run as well in Mac OS as it does in Windows. So before we go into Bootcamp and check out how it runs there, let me give a huge thank you to our sponsor, Micro Center, for making our Mac Pro content possible. Micro Center has 25 stores nationwide with an impressive variety of electronics, from gaming, VR, computer parts like processors, graphics, and everything else needed to build or upgrade a PC or Mac. Micro Center has been an Apple authorized dealer since 1980. They have a dedicated Apple department with highly trained Apple sales associates. Aside from the iPhone, Micro Center carries the full lineup of Apple products. And they have the largest selection of third party products for Mac and iPad. Come into a local Micro Center today and talk to one of their Apple experts to order the specific Mac Pro configuration that best suits your needs. Check the link in the description to find a local Micro Center near you or to browse all of their Apple products. We are here in Windows using Bootcamp and I ran the Unigen Heaven benchmark and instead of getting about 112 frames per second in Mac OS, we're getting 138.6. So that is a really good improvement in graphics gaming performance just going into Windows. So it looks like Fortnite and Windows defaulted to much higher settings. We're locked in at 4K resolution. Everything's maxed out, so this seems good. Let's test it out. Yeah. Oh. Well, as you guys could see, we're getting an extremely consistent 50 to 55 FPS. Uh, a little bit it hit 60, but it's sticking right there at 52 to 55, and I'm really surprised by how consistent it is, which, if you know Mac systems, that is very impressive. <laughs> From what I could see, even playing at 4K with everything maxed out, you can get reusable frame rates without any performance issues whatsoever, or drop it down to medium, and you can play at, you know, 100, 120, whatever you guys want to play at. Now I have Forza Horizon 4 open here on PC and I'm running the benchmark. I'm not sure what the resolution is set to, but the actual monitor in Windows is playing back at 5K and it's right now it's locked at 60 FPS and it looks like the graphics card is only running at 40%. Just saw it drop down to 39, 38, 41. So it is having no issues, of course. Forza looks beautiful and it's really well optimized. So that was at 1080p using the Ultra preset and the FPS average was 146, but that's not what I'm interested in. I want the best graphics. So let's click this box right here, playing at 5K resolution. Okay, that looks nice. This, oh, I see no aliasing. The graphics look amazing at 5K Ultra preset and graphics card usage now 98% and looks like we're staying above 60 FPS. I unlocked it. 60, 59, 61, 62, 63 at 5K Ultra and it looks gorgeous. 
Not bad at all. Look how consistent that frame rate is. 5K Ultra preset, averaging 58.7 frames per second. Keep in mind, 5K is about double the amount of resolution than 4K, not a little bit more, double. And now for my favorite game, Modern Warfare. And this is playing back at 4K resolution, a mix of high settings with some of the effects turned down. Not bad, I think I'm gonna kick some of these graphics settings up or maybe even try 5K. Now, unfortunately, we are getting this artifacting. We saw it with the 16-inch MacBook Pro. We just got new drivers for that. And even people with NVIDIA graphics cards had this issue. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that the Mac Pro has basically been silent this whole time we've been playing in Mac OS uh, and in Windows and using all those benchmarks and it's sitting here right right next to me here. So I just maxed out all of the graphics in 4K. Everything is set to the highest settings. Stop running away from me. <laughs> so it looks like even if I maxed out all the settings, it didn't really make a difference. Our FPS is higher because we're in a smaller environment here, but I'm still playing a 60, 70, sometimes 80 FPS, 4K, max out all the settings. Now these artifacts are kind of annoying, but I don't think they're changing anything as far as frame rates. Now the final test, 5K resolution. Yep, it's lagging. We're at 40 frames per second, 5K resolution. Everything is maxed out right now. Very consistent though. 39, 41. Uh, I would not recommend playing at 5K. Of course, if we go to Ground War, I'm guessing we're gonna be playing at about 30 FPS. And uh, I'm not a fan of doing that. <laughs> Now I know a lot of you guys like to play at 1440p with high refresh rate monitor. So here's 1440p, everything maxed out. We are playing at about 91 to 110 frames per second here, depending on what we're doing, about 100. No, why did I exit out? No, what's going on? I almost had it in there too. So uh, in Modern Warfare, it's not reading out the GPU temperature, unfortunately, but I opened up GPU Z here, and it looks like the graphics card is running at 67 degrees Celsius with everything maxed out. Yeah. If you guys don't know about bootcampdrivers.com, uh, you can actually get actual AMD drivers for Windows that they'll release there and the performance typically gets better with those drivers. So hopefully this artifacting will go away after the drivers have been updated. But even on the first drivers, our performance is excellent. So now we are running Firestrike to test out how the system compares to other graphics cards. Processor is not recognized, graphics card is not recognized, and the graphics driver is not approved. So uh, I'm not really sure what, if that's gonna affect it or not, but it looks like our graphics score is 26,850. As you guys saw in actual gaming performance, it performed really well. And keep in mind, this is the first version of the drivers and with bootcamp, I had no issues. So it looks like the Vega 2 is actually on the charts now and the score is basically identical to the RTX 2080 here and just slightly behind the, the 2080 Super. So, you know, that for that price, is that performance amazing? Well, not really, because you can build a PC for about $2,000 gonna perform the same and please don't buy this Mac Pro for gaming but as a Mac this is really great performance the best performance we've ever had by far and uh, this system is almost 15,000 but you don't need to get 192 gigs of RAM or a terabyte SSD or an afterburner card or a 12 core processor you could just get the base and upgrade the graphics card or upgrade it yourself to 5700 XT, it's gonna work just fine. You'll get similar performance close to it. And keep in mind the drivers will be updated. We're actually gonna get a little bit more performance out of it. Uh, so overall, I am happy you can game at 4K with new games with all the settings maxed out. And even at five or 6K, if you drop down some of those settings, it's gonna look fantastic. So after work is done, you can play some games with great results, good consistent frame rates, and silent performance. Uh, so Apple, we now have a gaming PC. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know any questions or comments down in the comment section below. Once again, we have links in the video description. You guys can click above to subscribe.
and we will see you guys in the next video.